Hey there, hackers of the future. Today, we're diving into the world of programming languages and exploring which one is the best choice for all you aspiring hackers out there. There is no definitive answer to the question of which programming language is the best for hacking, as different languages have different strengths and weaknesses, and the choice may depend on the target system, the strategy, and the personal preference of the hacker. However, we are going to see some of the most popular and widely used programming languages for hacking. The first is Python and Ruby. Python and Ruby is a widely used general purpose, high level programming language that can be used for hacking and automation tasks. Python and Ruby has many advantages for hackers, such as it is easy to learn, write, and read with a clear and concise syntax that emphasizes readability and simplicity. It is open source and object oriented, which means it can be modified and extended according to the hacker's needs and preferences. It has a large and rich library of modules that can be used for various tasks, such as web scraping, network programming, data analysis, machine learning, cryptography, etc. It is cross-platform, which means it can run on different operating systems without much modification. Some of the hacking techniques that can be performed with Python and Ruby are Password cracking. This is the process of recovering passwords from data that has been stored or transmitted by a system. Python can be used to create password cracking tools that use different methods, such as brute force, dictionary, or rainbow table attacks. For example, Python can be used to crack SHA-256 hashes by using the Hashlib module 1. Web Login Brute Forcing This is the process of trying different combinations of usernames and passwords to gain access to a web application. Python can be used to create web login brute forcing tools that use requests or Selenium modules to send HTTP requests or automate browser actions. For example, Python can be used to brute force a web login form by using the requests module. SQL Injection Exploitation this is the process of injecting malicious SQL statements into a web application's database query to access or modify sensitive data. Python can be used to create SQL injection exploitation tools that use SQL map or PyOB modules to detect and exploit SQL injection vulnerabilities. For example, Python can be used to exploit a SQL injection vulnerability by using the SQL map module. These are some of the ways that hackers can use Python and Ruby to exploit systems and applications. However, they can also be used for ethical hacking purposes, such as testing the security of systems and applications, finding and reporting vulnerabilities, or enhancing the user experience. The next is C and C++. C and C++ are programming languages that belong to the low-level category, which means they can interact directly with the hardware and memory of the computer system. They are compiled languages, which means they are converted into machine code before execution, making them fast, powerful, and flexible. They can be used to create a wide range of hacking tools that can exploit various vulnerabilities in systems and applications, such as exploits that execute malicious code, malware that infects or damages files, rootkits that hide or control system processes, keyloggers that record keystrokes, and so on. C and C++ are also the languages that most operating systems and applications are written in. Therefore, knowing them can help hackers understand how systems work internally and how to exploit their weaknesses. The next is JavaScript. JavaScript is a scripting language that can be used to create dynamic and interactive web pages. It can also be used for hacking, as it can manipulate the content, behavior, and appearance of web pages, as well as access and modify data stored in databases or cookies. Some of the hacking techniques that can be performed with JavaScript are XSS or cross-site scripting, this is a type of attack that exploits a web application's vulnerability to inject malicious JavaScript code into web pages that are viewed by other users. The attacker can use the injected code to steal sensitive information, such as cookies, session tokens, or credentials, or to perform unauthorized actions on behalf of the user, such as transferring funds, changing passwords, or posting messages. Bookmarklets These are snippets of JavaScript code that can be saved as bookmarks and executed on any web page. They can be used to modify the page content, links, forms, or cookies, or to perform various tasks, such as web scraping, debugging, testing, or automation. Key loggers and mouse capture. These are tools that can record the user's keystrokes and mouse movements on a web page. They can be used to steal passwords, credit card numbers, or other sensitive data entered by the user. Spear phishing. This is a type of phishing attack that targets a specific individual or organization by sending them an email that appears to be from a trusted source. The email contains a link to a malicious web page that uses JavaScript to trick the user into revealing their personal or financial information, or to download malware. 
These are some of the ways that hackers can use JavaScript to exploit web applications and users. However, JavaScript can also be used for ethical hacking purposes, such as testing the security of web applications, finding and reporting vulnerabilities, or enhancing the user experience. The next is Bash. Bash is a type of program that allows hackers to interact with the computer system using text commands. It is also known as a command line interpreter or a shell, as it interprets the commands entered by the user and executes them on the system. Bash runs on operating systems that are based on Unix, such as Linux or MacOS, which are widely used by servers and developers. Bash enables hackers to perform various hacking activities, such as executing commands on remote servers by using SSH or Telnet, automating tasks by creating scripts that can run multiple commands in sequence, creating scripts that can perform various tasks, such as web scraping, network scanning, or password cracking, and interacting with various tools that can help them exploit vulnerabilities or gather information. The next is Assembly. Assembly is a programming language that is at the lowest level of abstraction, which means it is very close to the machine code that the computer can understand and execute. It is specific to a certain type of processor or hardware architecture, such as x86, ARM, or MIPS, and it requires a deep understanding of how computers work at the binary level. Assembly is used by hackers to reverse engineer binary files, which are files that contain machine code, such as executables or libraries, and to write highly optimized code that can bypass security mechanisms or antivirus software. By using assembly, hackers can manipulate the memory, registers, and instructions of the processor and create code that is fast, compact, and stealthy. The last one is SQL. SQL is an acronym for Structured Query Language, which is a standard language that can be used to manipulate data in relational databases. Relational databases are databases that store data in tables, which consist of rows and columns. SQL can be used to perform various operations on the data, such as creating, reading, updating, or deleting. SQL is essential for hackers who want to perform SQL injection attacks, which are a type of attack that exploits a web application's vulnerability to inject malicious SQL statements into the web application's database query. A database query is a request that retrieves or modifies data from the database. By injecting malicious SQL statements into the database query, hackers can access or modify sensitive data that is stored in the database, such as user credentials, personal information, financial records, etc. These are some of the best programming languages for hacking in 2023. However, there are many other languages that hackers can use for different purposes, such as PHP, Perl, Java, etc. The more languages a hacker knows, the more versatile and adaptable they can be. Thank you for watching this video on the best programming languages for hacking. I hope you learned something new and useful from this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. We would love to hear from you and answer your queries.